Welcome to the new video in this course, Fetching Data and Displaying It in the Recycler View. You are in Section 4, Video 5. And in this video, we will work on our demo application. We will add the Recycler View in our main activity, which will display the list of nodes that we add. And then we will implement the codes for fetching the list of nodes from our room database. So let us move to Android Studio and start implementing the code for fetching and displaying the data. You can get all the codes in the GitHub. I'll put the link to it in the description box below. For the Recycler view, I have added the dependencies for Recycler view and the card view in my apps build.gradle file. After adding these dependencies, sync your project and you'll be ready to implement the Recycler view in your demo application. I have already done this. For the content main.xml, I have added the Recycler view widget, which I'll use to display the list of notes. And this Recycler view populates the list item from this list item layout. So that is the basic setup that I have done for this video. Now let us move to main activity and write the code for our Recycler view. Well, if you are not sure how Recycler view works, we have the detailed video on it. I have given the link to it in the description box below. Please go refer to it and make yourself clear with Recycler view. And then you can continue with this video. And if you are already into it, you are good to go. This is the basic code for the adapter for Recycler view and the view holder class for me is note view holder which I have created here. So the adapter is note list adapter and the view holder is note view holder. Now in our main activity, we'll create the instance of the adapter. So here we are set with the basic codes of Recycler view in our main activity. Now let us move to note list adapter and write the code to inflate our Recycler view with the notes. And in our Recycler view, we want the list of notes. So here, we will have another field variable. And this will be the list of notes. Now we need to inflate this notes in our Recycler view. So we will add the code for it in our onBindViewHolder method. So here on the onBindViewHolder method, I am checking if the list of nodes is not null. If it is not null, we are setting the holder to have the node in it. Else, in case if there is no nodes present in our database, we are passing a string to it which says that no nodes is available. I'll create this setData function in my NodeViewHolder class. And what it is basically doing is, it is setting the note in the note item view and is setting the position. So we have almost set up our recycler view. Now it is time to write the code to fetch the data from the room database. So we will move to our room components and write the code for it. We will start from node DAO 
in our DAO interface, we need to create a method to fetch all words. Defining the method in the DAO. Now this function will return me a list of note and the query for this will be, we will use the query annotation. So this is my query for selecting all the rows from my notes table. So my DAO is ready to fetch all the notes from the database. Next we need to move to our view model. In our view model, we need to write the wrapper function for this select query of getting all the words. We will use live data. So here we will modify the node DAO's written type of this list of nodes to return us the live data. So here we will return the live data which we can observe easily and hence our recycler view will be updated in case of any change in this notes in the database. And now in the note view model, this is my field variable which is the live data for all notes and here I'll initialize it in my constructor which will get its value from this function in our DAO that is the list of notes. Now since we are using live data this operation will automatically be performed in the background thread so we don't need any async task for it and here we will create a wrapper function which will return this from our view model and this is just a wrapper function. And now in our main activity, we will use this function to fetch the data and get all the notes and then load it into our recycler view. And since it is the live data, we will observe it from our main activity. So in the main activity, and after attaching the observer to our list of notes, we will update the UI. And to set the note into our recycler view, we will add a function set notes in our adapter. And we will call this set notes function from the observer from our main activity. And we are using this set notes function to update the note list. And then the function notify data set changed. So from our main activity, note list adapter dot set notes and then we will pass the list of notes. So that was all about fetching the data from the database. What we basically did is starting from the database component in our node DAO, we added the function which will return the list of live data of nodes for which we used the query annotation and wrote the SQL query for it. After the node DAO, we went to the view model and we created the wrapper function for get all nodes. Now we will use this function to fetch the data in the UI. So get all nodes in the view model returns the live data to the UI. And from the UI that is our main activity, we are observing the live data that the node view model returns us. And for the list of data that is returned, which is for us the list of nodes, we are setting it in the recycler view adapter, which for us is the note list adapter. Now let us run our application and see if it is working fine. Okay, so we are not getting the list of nodes that we had added previously. I think we are missing something in our adapter. So here in the get item count function, we need to return zero only if the list of nodes is empty. So we will update this so that it returns the size of the list. Now let us run our application again and see. So here we have the list of nodes that we have added into our database. Now let us add a note and see if this list of data which is the live data is observed and the recycler view is updated. 
and yes, the note was saved and the recycler view was automatically updated with the new list of notes. So any change in the DB will be reflected if we are using the live data. So we have successfully fetched the data from the database and populated it in our UI. Now we have learnt Room performs the compile time check of SQL queries. Now let us see how true is that. In our node DAO, let us change this. So here you can see we are getting the error without even running our code. So this is how the compile time check is done for the SQL queries. So summarizing everything that we learnt, we need to add the recycler view and set up the adapter for our main activity. In the DAO interface, we need to declare the getAllNotes method and add the annotation of query with the SQL statement which will give us the list of nodes from the database and we are returning the live data. After working with DAO, we moved to view model where we added the member variable for the list of work and initialized it in the constructor which is returning me the list of nodes by fetching it from the DAO. And after that, I added the getter method for all the nodes, which will return me all the nodes in the view model. Now, after the getter method in the view model, the list of nodes is fetched in the main activity and it is observed. And the UI is set with the list of nodes. So that was all about fetching the data from the database and displaying it in the UI. So in the next video, we will learn about performing the update operations in Room. So stay tuned.